How's it everyone? Of course, the onslaught of huge news in 2015 so far continues because tonight at the NXT tapings, none other than Austin Aries, of course, a double the greatest man to ever live, right there, the t-shirt that I got in 2010 when he was in Ring of Honor, uh, has debuted in WWE NXT, and I couldn't be any more excited. Austin Aries is definitely a person who deserves it. Um, he's been a great wrestler. He's great on the mic. His character is really well as well. Just, he's the overall pretty much whole package, and I'm really excited to see how he does in NXT. I'm all fired up right now. I'm really excited. Um, he came out, of course, um, debuting at the uh, the tapings, of course, like I said. Uh, coming out, Regal introducing him, coming out, new t-shirt, new logo, new, new music, everything. Coming out, I think he's attacked by Baron Corbin, so obviously he's going to be with Baron Corbin going forward, it seems like. Which I don't mind, No, oh, Baron Corbin's been a guy who's pretty much being used to um, face the new indie guys as they come in. Of course, been feuding with guys like Joe uh, recently, uh, Paul Cruz. He just faced Rich Swan at the uh, recent NXT uh, show on uh, Wednesday that aired. So Baron Corbin's pretty much the guy that faces any guys, which I don't, like I said, I don't have an issue with. Um, just, I'm really excited to see how he does. You know, Austin Aries is a guy who's pretty much been off the radar for the past couple of years in terms of just, you know, haven't really heard too much about him. Of course, he was in a, he had this huge run to Ring of Honor where he became the first ever two-time world champion there. Had a nice run until he lost it to Seth Rollins or Tyler Black then. Um, and you know, with the TNA in 2011 and he won the world championship in the last couple of years, you just haven't really heard anything about him. So I think this is definitely a reemergence of his career as well. Um... And just well, all well deserved, you know. You know, WWE has been on a roll with these signings. You know, at the beginning of the month, we got AJ Nakamura uh, and Gals and Anderson from the Bullet Club. Uh, just they're signing all these talents, and it's just like, man, WWE has just been relentless. They're just signing everyone they possibly can, and they just don't care. And you know, for their beneficial too, and our benefits as well, because we get to see them, you know, in a bigger stage than what they were at. So. I'm really excited for this. You know, Austin Aries should be uh, should be pretty good. You know, I think he's a good fit for NXT. He fits the mold. You know, he's a great, like I say, he's a great wrestler, great on mic, great character. I think it all pretty much fits, and I'm excited. You know, I remember back in 2011 where he, uh, he auditioned for Tough Enough, and they turned him down because he complained that they said he was too small. He didn't, you know, they weren't what we were looking for. And here we are five years later in WWE, or NXT, I should say. Hottest thing going around today, and Austin Aries is there, and I couldn't be more happy for him. Definitely uh, well-deserved, and I'm really excited to see how he does in NXT. I think he'll do great. I can't wait to see him that matches again, you know, reigniting his old feuds with Samoa Joe. They always put on classics. Him and Sami Zayn, him and Finn Balor. Just so many matches that you can see with Austin Aries and NXT right now. And if he ever does get called to the main roster, that'd be awesome to see as well. Uh, whether he goes to the main roster or not, I don't know. He may be a guy that just signed for NXT, so that may be the case with him. But, you know, that's, that's, that's to be seen. But uh, I'm very excited to see him in NXT. As far as I know, he's signed to the brand. That's how they made it seem like. He was the newest signee, so I guess he's officially signed. This isn't a James Storm thing where he does a couple appearances and he says, screw it, I'm going back to somewhere else. Uh, that's not the case here at all, I think. So I definitely think he's going to stay in uh, NXT for the long run. But yeah, I'm all excited. You know, definitely deserves it. We saw the Royal Rumble this Sunday, so... Uh, January has been a very newsworthy month so far in professional wrestling. Uh, let's just hope this carries on throughout 2016. Not saying every month needs to be this crazy in terms of news, but we can at least keep the train going, the momentum going with an exciting year. So, you know, we're already kicking off greatly, so it hopefully keeps up for the next 11 months. But yeah, that'll do it for the video, guys. I'm not going to touch up on the old TNA thing. Of course, TNA throwing a huge bitch fit about AJ going to WWE. Put up an article. Just made them look absolutely pathetic, uh, just sad. A uh, terrible tactic. They, they, the, the stupidity of TNA is just overwhelming. I can't even deal with it. And, and if you like TNA, I'm sorry, but I don't see how anyone can support that company until 2016. They're absolutely awful. Not saying that the product's awful because I don't watch it, but the people in the company, the people that run it, are dumb and they're just, I'm not going to waste any more time talking about it because they're not even worth it, but just a big fuck TNA. Um, but yeah, Austin Aries and WWE, NXT more specific. Um, leave you guys comments below if you guys would like about your thoughts on him signing, how you think he'll do, what do you think he'll, you know, how he'll do and what do you think he'll do and what night I think he'll turn to a heel or be a face after the feud with Corbin because I'm assuming he'll be a face for the feud with Corbin, but maybe coming out of it he'll turn. Who knows? But I'm excited to see how the future holds for Austin Aries and WWE. So, thank you guys for watching the video. Uh, this weekend, Rumble videos, of course, predictions, as well as paper reviews. So, you have those coming up to look forward to. But, um, yeah, that'll do it for the video, guys. Thank you guys again for watching the video. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.